Hello Chucks and Chuck it's Lennon in between, Chocolate Birds here for another video review, it's a special one, it's the Linus edition, Thornton's 8 Chocolate Orange Caramel Shortcake Bites. Yes, crumbly shortcake laid with gooey orange flavoured caramel and milk chocolate. Mmm, yeah, sounds very nice, sounds very nice. But yeah, one of those of you eagle-eyed among you will have uh, known from a previous review where I had um, 10 uh, such things in a in a, one of these boxes from Thornton's and essentially missing one. Well, there's only 8 in this case, so they've actually made them smaller for this special edition or this limited edition, which is... A real con, really, isn't it? So the regular um, sort of, you know, um, basically sort of millionaire's bites that uh, Thornton's do have ten in them, uh, whereas this one only got eight. So really disappointing, that one, really disappointing. So it's a bit of a joke, that, isn't it, really? Real, um, yeah, just ripping you off, basically, for this limited edition one. But uh, that aside, it looks very nice. Um, I say, they're basically millionaire shortcakes um, with a sort of orange-flavoured caramel, I believe. Um, Right, yes, that's not there. <laughs> yeah, sort of very interesting. But as I say, disappointing that we got off to that bad start. Now, there's a couple of them. Um, it's not actually made by Thornton. It's made by Finsbury, um, essentially. So there's, I think there's a couple of sort of companies that do um, Thornton's um, products, basically, or cake type affairs or whatever. Um, you know, and uh, both, I think they're both owned by the same people, actually. I think it's Finsbury that owns them both. But the other one is Light Body Ventures. Um, and they tend to do ones that are really are pretty poor quality, actually. And these Finsbury ones at least look the part. And um, I say ones that are specifically down as being Finsbury. Um, yeah, so what's it say here? Shortcake squares covered with an orange flavoured caramel filling and topped with milk chocolate. Biscuit base, 39%. Butter your biscuit base. <laughs> it's got palm oil there. Palm kernel oil. Milk flakes. Coconut oil. Okay, anything else of interest in there? Um, some other percentages. There you go. Orange flavored caramel filling, thirty-eight percent. Milk chocolate, fourteen percent. There. There we are. Yeah. So sixty, seventy. Yeah, seventy-seven percent at fourteen. Yes, yeah, equals about uh, yeah, <laughs> ninety-one percent. So there's nine percent missing if my maths is right. Um, so who knows what that could be? Probably all the other stuff maybe. <laughs> Palm oil there as well. And the calories. And the 100 grams, 518 calories, 30.2 grams of fat, 17.9 of which are saturates. Um, yeah, not bad. So it's uh, well on the lower end of the 500 to 550 scale that chocolate generally is uh, for, for chocolate products. Uh, first, calories generally are for chocolate type products, but I'll say these are sort of cakey, biscuity type things. Per serving, approximately 13 grams. I assume that's per bite. 67 calories, 3.9 grams of fat, 2.3 of which are saturates. This pack contains eight servings. Yeah, so there you go. So it's vegetarians. And what does it weigh? It weighs. Um, can't say anywhere what it weighs. It should do, but it, no, I think it's with the con. Actually, I seem to remember they don't say what what they weigh on these ones. Actually, which is a bit of a con. Um, because it could easily change the size. And I know I've seen some of these cakey type products aren't um, officially made by you know the company. I think it was the Reese's. What's it called? Reese's. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what they were now. I'm sure they were sort of Reese's Bites or something like that they were called anyway, but they didn't have the weightage on those and it just dramatically changed. So anyway, well, I have to assume that it's, uh, I think, 200 grams, I guess, isn't it? If each one weighs 25. Yeah. Uh, so what do each one say, actually? Or oh, 13, actually, not 25. 13, yeah. So I have to assume that it's probably, what is it, uh, 52, um, 52, 104, I guess, for the whole thing. So, so 13 grams, that's... Uh, 26 times 2, 52, and times 2 again, 104. Yeah, there we go. Mm. All right. Okay, without further ado, then we should give them an open, but you'll notice there are also flourishes as well. So it should actually be a lot, you know, not as big as it looks. Uh, there are, by the way, uh, peppermint cream brownie bites as well. But again, suffer the same problem, they only mean 8, when they're usually 10 for the brownie bites um, in a pack. But yeah, all right, let's give these an open. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, we're going to give these a limited edition Thornton's 8 Chocolate Orange Caramel Shortcake Bites and open. Yeah, so I say only 8 as opposed to the 10 you normally get in their sort of um, millionaire shortcake um, offerings. But uh, there we go, that's the price of the limited edition, I guess, the leasing was by 2. Bit of a shame. But yeah, alright, let's give them an open then. So yeah, time recording, I've done uh, about 850 reviews, believe it or not. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll put a link to a place of all my other reviews in the top right hand corner and some Thornton's reviews as well, I'm sure, and maybe some other related things. So, after you watch this one and enjoyed it, uh, hopefully you will anyway, <laughs> check those out and hopefully you enjoyed those too. Okay. 
There we go. So yeah, so there we are. It's um, looks pretty nicely presented. Um, hmm, quite a reasonable. Well, I know the K orange smell. It tastes a bit sort of toffee-like as well, and I don't think it, the combination of smells works very well together. Hmm. See these ones have got like a bit of a lumpy, bumpy design to them as well. These ones look quite nice. Um, but these ones look a bit haphazard and messy. Um, hmm. Um, although you could argue that you get more with those on the, as far as the swirly topping bit is concerned. Because there's lots of empty space here, I mean, I think we discussed this last time with these, you can, you know, when you take these out, well, you clearly you could fit an extra one in the packaging as well anyway, but then if you took out all this space and gap and stuff, the amount you could fit in here is just going to be ridiculous compared to what you actually get, <laughs> you know, so, um, just try, I'm sure it should be like five by five, basically. Um, at least, well, let's just say four, you could fit four definitely and a bit, but I'm quite sure you could fit another four along here. Um, so four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen at least. That's double what you get at least. Um, let's say, and then half. So that's nine basically, isn't it? If you count the two, it's pretty much half of one there and half of one there, pretty much. Um, you know, yeah, so nine, yeah. So you've got to 4, 8, 12, 16. Um, yeah, plus half and half. Yeah, it's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, plus, I'll say half one for each lane. So there's five lanes and half. Yeah, so, hmm. Yeah, four lanes rather than half, so that's an extra two, isn't it, per one. So 4, 8, 12, 16. So 18, basically, you could probably fit in here. I'll say maybe, if not, a bit more. So I'll say two, an extra two there. Mm, maybe an extra four, actually, yeah. Two there, two there, two there, two there, yes, yeah, so actually four actually. So yeah, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, yeah. So twenty, you could both you used to get twenty in this box in the area that you see, if it was like this. Um, yeah, but you only get eight. So it's pretty poor though, isn't it? So as I say, you get four by four, which is this bit, and then you got the half on these sides and half here as well. So half, 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 half. So eight halves is four, so as I say, twenty in total. So pretty poor though. Let's give these a measure then, uh, before I forget. Let's just check it's on zero. So the uh, height of these, well, roughly going to be the same, I imagine, but about 1.4. So it should be a square, but 2.8. Let's just try the other side, just in case. Yeah, about 2.9 almost that side. So we did the height, did we? Not sure. Let's do it again, just in case. About 1.4, Hmm, interesting, yeah. All right, and you can see the different, uh, I'll say different segments there, quite a lot of um, biscuit. And then, see, the camera's different than look at that side. It's quite a thick looking camera there, but on that side, it's dead thin. Definitely more biscuit than anything else, I think. Um, seems to be quite common. Thick on that side, thin, or thinner, thick. Yeah, so, hmm. Let's yeah, see, so quite thin. And thick, so it's just as I say, just where it's been sliced down, it's just pushed the camera down a bit. Yeah, so definitely more biscuit than anything else. Definitely a, a sort of orangey smell coming from them, but I'd say it's sort of tainted with something else, like a sort of toffee type smell. Um, so yeah, it doesn't smell overly nice. I'll say if uh, the actual measurements of the uh, I don't know if I can show this very well, really, but the you know, the biscuit is probably about. Mm, Eight millimeters, and the caramel maybe about four. Again, depending on the size. On this side here, sometimes it's, it's about one mil, maybe two, on that side as opposed to that side. So yeah, and the chocolate's about a millimeter thick. All right, so yeah, a bit of an unusual one there, I think you'd say. Um, we could perhaps give these a measure, sort of weight as well. Give these away rather. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. So it should be about thirteen grams. It says. Yeah, 14 there, not bad. 12, so, well, 14 actually. Yeah, so they're a bit heavier than, um, hmm, what they say they are, but 13, that was 13. Okay. Yeah, not bad then. They're sort of heavier than, uh, they're meant to be rather than lighter, so that's not too bad. <laughs> only do, only weigh some of them there, of course, but there we go. All right, well, I think we need to give these a taste, so let's find out. Do they taste good? They look all right, I must say. Some, um, let's say, some things that are not quite perfect with them, but especially the, the amount you get in here, but, uh, yeah. Well, do they taste nice? 
Let's hope they at least have that. So <laughs> it's all good, as I say, for the most part, although some of them are a bit not quite as tidy as others. Yeah, that's a lot of biscuit here, so let's see if uh, the caramel's enough and the chocolate's enough to bring it through. Let's give them a taste. Okay, let's give these uh, Thornton's H chocolate uh, orange caramel shortcake bites a taste. Yeah, it's not very interesting, I say, but there is the main caveat is the fact that the normal uh, shortcake, um, caramel shortcake bites, what have you, have 10 of them in the box. Um, so a bit poor, that really. But here we go, this is what we're up against. Um, unusual sort of, you know, the caramel's, you can see it's quite thick on one layer, it looks thicker, but it's quite thin on another. So it's just where it's been sliced, it's pushed it down a bit. All right, well, let's uh, give it a go. I say, a relatively good. Orangey smell, but it's sort of like um, tainted, I think is the best way to describe it, with um, like a burnt caramel smell. So it doesn't quite work together very well, that smell. Hmm. All right, let's give this a taste. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. And by the know, biscuit's quite um, very soft, actually, the biscuit's very, um, hmm, almost melts in the mouth. Hmm. And the. Uh, Caramel doesn't really taste very caramel like. It has um I say an orange um taste to it, but an underlying I don't know. Not very chewy or anything like that. It's quite liquidy as well. I mean it's particularly taste of caramel, but you definitely could tell you're eating this sort of caramel type thing. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So it's more like a I see my teeth marks there. It's very sort of solid affair there. It's not runny at all. Yeah. Um, Mmm, the caramel that is. Mmm. Unusual. Um, I mean, the orange taste is quite nice. It comes across quite well. I think it works well with the chocolate. Gives it a bit of like a chocolate orange taste to it actually when mixed together. Um, and the biscuit's the most part. And it's not a bad biscuit. It's great. I say it's very soft. It feels quite hard to touch, but when you have it in your mouth, it's um, very soft and, you know, dissolves quite quick or liquidizes quite quickly. Uh, mm. Mm. It does give you a bit of a crunch, that's quite interesting. Mm. I kind of wish there was more caramel really rather than, you know, where uh, orange flavored caramel rather than the biscuit. I think it's just too much biscuit. Mm. It's not a pleasant biscuit though, I like the crunch it gives you. It's quite orange flavor, it's quite nice, it's quite, um, mm. works quite well with the caramel I must say. It doesn't, you know, it didn't smell that great, but it actually, Comes across quite nice. I think the chocolate's pretty good as well, and it does. I wish there was a bit more chocolate as well. Uh, hmm. It almost gives it like a chocolate orange taste to it. Hmm. When mixed with the caramel. Yeah. Hmm. Overall, not too bad. I said the caramel's quite solid. More like a spread. You can see there, you know, you could spread it for sure. Hmm. Could I could spread many things, I guess, but you know, <laughs> but it looks, you know, it's quite thick. Um, um, doesn't really run. Um, hmm. I guess that's the case with all these sort of like millionaire shortbread, shortcake type of affairs, you know. It's not bad, this one actually. I think it's not quite as, as great a taste as you know it could be. Um, but I think the, yeah, I mean, the sort of biscuit's quite a nice sort of consistency it's quite it's very soft and it still gives you a crunch but like lip sort of liquefies quite quickly in your mouth you know strangely um camel's pretty good i said the orange flavoring with it so, sort of works to an extent really makes it i say it doesn't really give you have give you much of a caramel taste but it's not bad and i think the chocolate's okay i think again with the caramel and the chocolate i think it could do with more of it a bit more um, but i think that mixes quite well with the sort of orange flavored caramel to give you a semblance of a chocolate orange, like a terry's chocolate orange taste really and it's not bad actually um Obviously, in this case, you've got more of the biscuit sort of is making this taking the place of the chocolate as far as this sort of texture is concerned. Um, hmm. So, yeah, not bad. I feel like it's uh, I've perfectly enjoying these, and I'm perfectly happy to finish them off. But I don't think they're sort of wowing me really. So I think it's probably just a just a four out of five, basically. I think it's just the fact that everything in there is quite nice, but it doesn't really amount to anything more than being you know pretty just you know a sort of nice tasting sort of cakey type bite, you know, and I think it's definitely not going to, you know, definitely unoffensive and it definitely does what it sets out to do, but I just feel like it, it could have a sort of thicker chocolate topper or maybe thicker um, caramel, I think. I think the chocolate would be, could do being thicker, really, and, um, and and also to reduce the size of the biscuit um, to accommodate that chocolate, you know, keep them the same size, but just make the, yeah, double the size of the chocolate, maybe, make it almost a similar size to the caramel. 
you know, you know, well, you could argue it's about the same size there. I'll make both of them double and just take out the, <laughs> just take out a bit of the biscuit. But I think definitely the chocolate could do being a bit thicker, basically. I say just could do being proportioned a bit better with the chocolate and maybe a bit more with the caramel as well. It's just too much biscuit and it's not a bad biscuit or anything, but it's just not what it's about, is it? It's, you know, but as I say, it does work as a nice texture, um, you know, to sort of chew and bite. You know, well, not chew, but to bite into it. It does work. It's very soft as well, strangely. But yeah, um, but just more chocolate and uh, maybe more caramel. But yeah, also the other thing as well with it is the fact that um, there's only, you know, it's only eight of these as opposed to ten which you get in a normal box. And then the fact that you could fit in 20 to the area of the box rather than, you know, just eight, you know. So it's ridiculous amount of that. So over three times, well, over two times as much, you know, two and a half, yeah, two and a quarter times or whatever it is, or two and a half times, you know, um, as much. So it's very, um, yeah, a bit poor that really. But yeah, but that aside, um, taste-wise, yeah. So four out of five, basically. It's, it's nice, um, but just not quite. It's just not quite perfect. It just needs to say thicker chocolate, maybe thicker caramel as well. But definitely more of them. You know, it should have at least two more for sure. I'm not going to deduct it really for that, although I probably should. Um, but I think that might be just a bit too harsh and take the you know the rating down a bit too much. But um, but yeah, definitely tempted to dock it half a mark for that. But I think four out of five is still sums it up pretty well. It's just not quite perfect, really, in all respects. So yeah, but. But as I say, thicker chocolate and thicker caramel would definitely help. Mm -hmm. Four out of five. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the YouTube member program. Link for that's in the description. It's a great way to support the channel. It really is, and you get something back depending on what tier you pick. Uh, yeah, the link for the Discord server is also in the description. So it's great way to keep in touch with myself and be part of the community. Um, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment for free as well. Always great to hear from you, and I always do reply as best I can. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.